My first government job was f four years in the military, active duty, uh, and uh, then my first public sector, the early years in the public sector were spent at the Postal Service as a distribution clerk. Uh, anybody that's in the military learns a lot about self-discipline, incredibly important for any job you have, obviously, but uh, as equally important as teamwork. And so uh, teaming and teamwork are incredibly important uh, for the Postal Service, an organization that has this massive delivery network, and when everybody is working collaboratively, it works incredibly well and so forth. So I think that uh, that teaming aspect is what uh, I probably took away uh, in my early years. Now what's interesting, in the last three years, I've seen teaming taken to a totally different level by this administration. There is more interagency collaboration going on than I've ever seen before. So when you have cabinet secretaries looking for ways to collaborate with other agencies, that's incredibly powerful. And we all benefit from that. And so, uh, so seeing that entire continuum, f teaming perspective as an employee, all the way to seeing agencies collaborate to deliver services to the citizen and so forth is pretty amazing. Ironically, I failed. And what happened was, uh, this was many, many years ago, again with the Postal Service, I was promoted into my first mid-level management position, had an opportunity to meet with my new director who wanted to share with me his innovation vision, where he wanted the organization to go, and the need to take risks to get to that point. Uh, so I understood what he was talking about, started to leave the meeting, and he stopped me and handed me a get out of jail free Monopoly card. Wasn't exactly sure what that was all about, but he told me, he said, if you take a risk and the outcome doesn't necessarily you know, result in something positive, just come on back, meet with me, hand me the card, and all will be forgotten. So you can imagine, first promotion, didn't take long for that scenario to play out for me. So I went back, met with him, uh, and he was true to his words, you know, said, no problem. As I was leaving, he handed me another get out of jail free card. So the message was very, very clear. To push organizations to the place we need them to be, we need to take risks. And for every great success that's occurred out there, there's been a series of missteps or mistakes that have ultimately led to that great success. So that's the challenge that we have as managers, to put that environment in place where people feel free to take measured risk. Well, the first thing I would share with them is you're not alone. Anybody that gets into a new position is going to feel overwhelmed. I mean, it's the uncertainty around the position and so forth. It's not necessarily whether you're young or old. It's the newness of where you're at. Also recognize that all your colleagues that surround you have been through that before. And so lean on them, okay? Also time will take care of a lot of that. And so as time passes, as people get more experience in the position they're holding, the boundaries start to kind of clear up, if you will. A little clarity comes around what is important to the job and what isn't important to the job. And so you'll have a chance to really start to separate the two and get much more comfortable. Develop and nurture personal relationships. So when you first get in your very first government job, you will likely have tasking that's very, very narrowly focused. So you, and only you, can accomplish whatever that task is. As your job responsibilities grow, as the projects you take on become more complex, your success will be dependent on others, the work of others, and especially when you get into management. And so develop those personal relationships and nurture them throughout your career because you're going to need them at some point. Those that don't do that or those that uh, you know, kind of create an island around themselves will ultimately fail. So personal relationships are the key to your personal success. I would recommend taking a look at the position that you aspire to, the individual that's currently occupying that position, okay, see what 
their character traits are. What type of personality do they have that makes them successful? And then do a self inventory, a personal inventory. Do you have those qualities and so forth? Also reach out to that individual for coaching, either formally, informally. Uh, I think coaching is an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, we, I think most of us have at some time had mentors that have helped us move up, uh, move up an organization, that type of thing. And also education, I'm a huge proponent of education. You can never stop learning, whether it's in a formal academic setting or informal. Always be curious and try to continue to learn more and more and more about not only the job, but the environment that you're working in. I don't think there's anything more nobler than working in the public sector. The public sector is the fabric, if you will, that really ties society together. There isn't anybody in this country that at some point won't have contact with a public sector employee. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. You don't get that in any other occupation. We, to a large extent, are taken for granted, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. So when I sit down and have dinner, I know the food I'm eating is safe. Okay, because of the public sector. I know the water I'm drinking is safe because of the EPA. I know products that I buy are going to be safe because of the public se sector. We don't think of that. We don't have that awareness every time we're doing something like that. And so when you're taken for granted like that, you can often become somewhat of a target. Right now there's heated political discourse and public sector employees are to a certain extent in those crosshairs, if you will. I would just recommend, don't worry about that. This too will pass. What will happen is if somebody loses that service that's being offered by the public sector, that's when concern starts to float up. When people don't have what they're accustomed to having. When a Social Security recipient receives their check on time every month, we take those things for granted and so forth. And so. Uh, government service is an incredible profession to be part of. I've been in public sector over 30 years, almost 35 years now. And if, I, uh, if somebody asked me what would I change, not a thing. It's been a, an incredible journey.